in this video I'm going to show you the um, open and close or the open and save file dialog box so as you can see if you compile our code from last video um, we already have a tool strip for file save and open um, so we're going to make them create dialog boxes and these are very easy so basically you say var and then name your dialog box. I'm going to name this one save db equals new save file dialog. Now you want to um, now you want to say um, save db dot filter. Filter is let's say I go to save my file. Filter is this thing right here. Save as file type and it lets me select anything. So we want to create a filter and how we create a filter is we put in quotes and our filter is going to be a string first we write the text it's going to display and the text it's going to display is um is um let's say j um javascript file and then then we want to put in brackets the actual filter and the filter is going to be an asterisk dot js then we're going to put a um, little line right here one of the vertical bars and we're going to write star dot js again and that will make a filter to let us select only jscript files or javascript files then if we put a, another bar we can add another filter let's add another one for text or let's open another one for executable files and then in parentheses dot exe and then after a vertical bar star dot exe that will let us select when we save to either save as a dot exe or a dot js then we're going to say save db dot show dialog and now currently um, then I'm going to quickly create an if statement and say if save db dot file name is not equal to nothing if you press cancel the file name is going to be set to nothing so this is a easy way to check um, if the per person actually selected something if they actually selected something I want to say message box dot show the file was successfully saved or I can say the file was successfully saved to and I put plus save db dot file name and it'll actually write um, the file I selected so now let's compile this hope we don't get any errors now when we run it we file if I click save it's going to load a save dialog box and as you can see I can either select a JavaScript file or an executable file and as you can see only shortcuts shortcuts will always show up but only shortcuts folders and dot exe files will show up um, but if I select dot js only the dot js files will come up um, so dot exe will show the shortcuts you no know, to the exe files and but dot js will only show the dot js files in their shortcuts so now and when I select a file and as you can see down here I can change them and I select a file it's it's going to ask me if I want to replace if I don't type in a new file name and it's going to say the file was successfully saved to blah 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 but it doesn't really save a file because we have to code it to save a file which you can do yourself um, so then then what we can do is um, if we press cancel as you can see it doesn't say the file was successfully saved because file name was equal to nothing so it just went ahead and didn't do anything it didn't execute the if statement and an open file dialog box is practically the same exact thing um, we say var open db equals new open open file dialog and then open I want to put a I'm going to put the same exact filter and then say open db dot show dialog 
and this is this will create an open file dialog box and we'll show it on the screen and open and as you can see we have the same filters either exes or um, jscript files or javascript files and you could open them and then the file name is set to whatever you selected or if you press cancel it's set to nothing so that's how you do file dialogs um, in jscript very basic um, but extremely useful